In this example, we're asked to subtract starting by identifying a common denominator. So let's look at our first set of fractions, 2 thirds minus 1 half. Common denominator in this case, I can take 2 times 3, which is 6, and that is a common denominator. It is also, in fact, the lowest common denominator. I can rewrite each fraction as an equivalent fraction over 6, and I'm going to take care and show the steps to do that. So here are my original fractions. The first one I need to multiply the bottom times 2, which means I also need to multiply the top times 2. The second one, bottom times 3, top times 3. Let's multiply and obtain our new equivalent fractions. So that's 4 sixths minus 3 sixths. If I subtract there, I have 4 copies of 1 sixth minus 3 copies of 1 sixth, leaving me essentially 1 copy of 1 sixth or 1 sixth. Second set of fractions, 3 fourths minus 2 fifths. Common denominator, I can always use 4 times 5, which is 20. There is no smaller number that is divisible by both 4 and 5, so in fact, 20 is also the lowest common denominator. I'm going to write each fraction as an equivalent fraction over the denominator of 20. So let me put my pieces in here. The first fraction, I have a denominator of 4, I need to multiply that times 5, and also the top by 5. Second fraction, I have a denominator of 5, I need to multiply that times 4, and also the top times 4. If I multiply each of my tops and bottoms of my fractions, I'm going to get 15 over 20 minus 8 over 20. I have a common denominator now, I have 15 Minus 8 gives me 7 over 20, and that is my final result.